Hi guys, it's Tanya here answering my Ask Me Tanya question of the week. Uh, my question today came from a long-term client who I've been working with for about three years now. We finished their midterm a little while ago and now we're preparing for their recertification. It's surprising how quickly they come around. Um, and the question was that in the midterm report, which focuses on uh, governance and operational management, there was a few uh, opportunities for improvement and a few observations that the auditors noted in the audit report. And one of my tips to my clients is always when you're preparing for your next audit is to review the last audit report. So we did that together. And while we looked through the audit report, we noticed that there were these opportunities for improvement. Now, first, let's define or explain what an opportunity for an improvement or an observation in your audit report is. So you have different ratings at audit. You usually have a two, which is conformity, and that's what we're looking for. We have a one, which is a minor non-conformance. We have a zero, which is a major non-conformance. And we have a three, which is elements of best practice if you're in a recertification or onwards. Um, and they're the official ratings, but there are these other two ratings which are called observations or opportunities for improvement. And auditors use those two terms interchangeably, even though they mean something slightly different. For brevity, let's just say that they mean the same thing. And um, if an auditor does give you an opportunity for improvement, do you need to address that by your next audit? And the answer really is no, you don't need to do it, although it's a good thing to consider. An opportunity for improvement is really the auditor in their experience, knowing auditing many other clients and seeing different systems. It's an area where they think that you can be doing better. Um, in this client's case, they being a governance audit, they, they picked up that there wasn't many key metrics or KPIs in the business. So the client asked me, do I need to implement them specifically for the auditor or not? And the answer is no. If it's not relevant to you, you can decide, you can read the, the feedback from the auditor, you can take it on board and you can decide if it's relevant to implement in your business or not. So if you've got an audit coming up and you've got opportunities for improvement or observations from your last audit report, do just that. Review them and determine if this is something that you need to take on. If you want to document that, you could add those to your continuous improvement register to show that you considered it, you discussed it, you thought about it and you determined that that wasn't right for your business at that point in time. If you've got an audit coming up and if you need assistance, please reach out. I'm here to help uh, and you can contact me on all the socials, but please re keep reaching out with all your questions because I love answering them.